In this video, I'm going to demonstrate changing from VMFS 5 to VMFS 6. And this is not an upgrade. When it's possible, like now, when I've evacuated all files I care about, including a, a VM here, this VMFS 5 data store is now empty. And I'm using the HTML5 based vSphere client, by the way. All right. So we've made darn sure there's no VMs and there's no files on here. I've got this kind of fancy name. So that's my home lab naming scheme. And I want to put that in my clipboard because I'm about to nuke that VMFS file system and everything on it. So again, that summary screen. Make darn sure we're on the right drive, the VMFS 5 one. Yep. And I'm going to say delete data store and say yes. All right. Now go to the host server that it's on, storage, new data store, paste in what's on my clipboard, highlight the drive we just nuked, let's get the Western Digital there, and this time VMFS 6. All right, so now I hit next, you say use all available partitions, I can leave all this alone, and finish up. So even though it's a giant eight terabyte drive, shouldn't take too long to create a VMFS data store and it's done already. Pretty amazing. Cause it's really a quick format that it's doing. And there we go. We now have the drive with the same name, but it's VMFS six instead of five. Thanks for watching. And thanks for visiting Tinkertry IT at home.